Now, a lot of you are going to make this very common math error and get this problem wrong. So without using a calculator, let's see how much math you know. And here is the question. So we have uh, parentheses, and inside the parentheses, we have 8 divided by 4 times 2 squared. Now that's going to be a minus. Uh, we have parentheses over here. 5 times 2 to the third power, or 2 cubed. All right, so here is the question, and again, no calculators. But uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help in math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so once again, we're not using a calculator, and here is the problem. So we have two sets of parentheses here and here, and inside the first uh, set, we have 8 divided by 4 times 2 squared minus. Inside these uh, parentheses, we have 5 times 2 to the third power. All right, so let's see the solution to this problem. The answer is negative 24. So how many of you had this expression? Maybe you went into this problem thinking to yourself, I can do this, I can do this. And then when you see or you uh, look at the answer, you might you know, have this expression. Either you're going to be angry. Uh, let's kind of fix up that uh, expression there. Or you might be sad. You are like, what happened? What did I do wrong? Well, listen, don't get discouraged, okay? This, uh, I'm telling you, there's a little tiny error here that a lot of students, um, uh, I don't even know, well, I'll just say this much. I don't even know if it's clearly taught um, or stressed enough in certain math classes, okay? But I'm going to really make sure you understand this particular thing. So if you got this wrong, I'm glad that you got it wrong with me and not on some sort of test or quiz. But anyways, if you got this right, that's pretty impressive. So let me go ahead and give your little happy face and a plus a 100 percent and a few stars because you did a great job today in mathematics but let's go ahead and talk about what we need to do here and um, the deal is this okay i'm going to show you the work but what's going on well we have a lot of different mathematics or mathematical operations going on so in math when you have uh, any two numbers, you can do things with these numbers. What can we do with numbers? Well, we can add them. We can subtract them. We can multiply them. We can uh, divide them. We can take powers. We can do all kinds of stuff. Well, these things here are called mathematical operations, okay? So these are operations, mathematical operations. And with these operations... Um, you know, order makes a difference, okay? The way, we, I mean, we need some sort of direction on what do we do, okay? Do we multiply first? Do we add first? Uh, do we know? Because you could do a problem and come up with all different um, uh, answers depending on what order you do the problem in, okay? Which operations you do first, okay? So this is why we need to have what we call the order, okay? Order of operations. So if you're thinking order of operations, that's awesome. And the order of operations is um, kind of commonly um, referred to or thought of uh, as uh, this particular acronym right here, which is PEMDAS. There is this old little saying that goes along with it. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. But PEMDAS, that's what you want to be uh, thinking about. The P stands for parentheses. Okay, so uh, we'll talk more about that here in a second. The E stands for exponents or powers. Then we have multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So this is kind of the orders. I'm, key, I'm um, being a little bit vague about this right now because most um, students just like, oh, yeah, I remember PEMDAS, and they kind of strictly follow it, but they oftentimes um, don't fully realize how it works. But I'm going to write this little PEMDAS up here, right here, PEMDAS. And now let's go ahead and evaluate um, what we need to do first. Well, the first thing here is P. So uh, the P means do everything inside the parentheses. Well, we have two uh, sets of parentheses here, here and here. So you're just going to think of these as two separate uh, problems. So we have to do this 
individually, and then we'll do this individually, and then lastly, we'll kind of uh, um, deal with these uh, two results. Uh, we'll subtract them, okay? So that's kind of the game plan. So that's what the P is. So now that we have that done, we need to go to the E, okay? So the E is powers. Do we have any powers? Well, we have a power here, okay? But I'm going to um, focus on this parenthesis, then we'll get to this one here in a second, okay? So let's focus on just getting this done, because remember, this is like two individual problems. Uh, over here, you'll see that we'll take care of this power here in a second. But uh, again, when you have two parentheses like this or, or brackets, just think of these as two individual separate problems. So let's focus in on here and looking at this, what do we do next, okay? Well, um, inside of here, you're saying, okay, we have division and we have multiplication. So I'm looking at my PEMDAS, I'm thinking, oh, I have division. Uh, yeah, so I have to do the multiplication because that becomes before division, because we're kind of going this uh, this way um, from left to right, okay? So a lot of you are saying, oh, okay, I need to do multiplication because it becomes before division. So you would choose to do this first. And you're like, okay, I got to do uh, four times two, which of course would be eight, and I would be left with eight divided by eight, which of course is one. Well, that is the mistake I was hoping you would make, okay? I wanted you to make that mistake with me so I can clear this up for you. This is not how PEMDAS works. So some of you might be shocked. Let's go ahead and make sure you understand uh, PEMDAS. So it is P, and then E, and then uh, parentheses, and then uh, powers, and then multiplication and division, and addition and subtraction, whatever comes first, from left to right, okay? It's not M O. It's not multiplication always before division. It's whatever you see first. So if I see multiplication before division from left to right, then I'll, then I'll multiply first. But if I see division before multiplication, I'm gonna do it this way, okay? So now looking at this problem, I'm like, okay, what do I have? Well, I have multiplication and division. What do I see first from left to right? I see uh, division. So that's what I have to do. So if you made that error, I could tell you right now, a ton of students make that mistake. That's why I purposely, you know, set this up this way so we can clarify this. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue with the problem now. So 8 divided by 4 is, of course, 2. So we'll write that result there. So this is going to be 2 times 2 squared. And then we have this part of the problem right here. So now let's go ahead and just support the problem step by step. Okay, so here is, let me go ahead and just scroll down here so we can focus in a bit. All right, so two times two squared. Well, two times two, of course, is four. So that's gonna be four squared. Now let's go ahead and uh, focus in on this uh, parentheses here because now there's no there's nothing more to do here uh, in this uh, uh, grouping symbol, this uh, parentheses. So two times two is four, we're done. There's no more operations to do. So we'll uh, draw our attention over here, five times two cubed. Well, what do I have to do first? I have multiplication and I have uh, an exponent. Okay, so thinking of our PEMDAS, right? We want to do powers first, then multiplication. So we'll do two cubed, which of course is going to be eight. That's two times two times two. So now we have five times eight, which of course is 40, all right? And let's go back over here, uh, four squared. Remember, you're gonna think of these as, um, they're basically two separate problems. So 4 squared is 4 times 4, which is 16. The value of this is 40. Now we're going to go ahead and subtract these two numbers. you got to be super careful here. Okay, we're going to take the difference of these two numbers, but this is going to be a negative value, a negative 24. You want to think of this problem as 16 plus a negative 40. Okay, so our final answer will be negative or a negative 24. So I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.